Hey, welcome everyone. This is now Friday and it's uh, been a very interesting week nonetheless. The other day we talked about a couple trade setups that we wanted to see as far as the overall market. I wanted to see if we could get some of the defensive positions like VNQ, if we could get a sell-off. Remember I said that in the video two days ago. And sure enough, we enacted an option strategy by buying the 86 September puts, there's about 37,000 open interest in that. VNQ today is only down about eh, nine tenths of a percent. You can't see that because it's in our stock trading room. We have two rooms in uh, here at Persons Planet. One is what we like to call the Algo Room, which shows complete transparency of every trade this is systems are in. So that if you're in a live trading room, first and foremost, I mean, you don't have to hear someone say, oh, look, I, I didn't, I called it out and you didn't hear me. Or it's real simple. You can clearly see when a trade generates on the screen. And it also shows when the trade is in on your trade manager strategy positions. So in this case, uh, today we had a couple things that were very interesting. We had a long, the five minute model, a short, and uh, today it's a kind of an interesting trading session. Uh, the sense that it opened higher, traded lower, did the same thing this bull market's done. Gaps higher, trades lower, fill gap back up. So it allows the traders to kind of take advantage of that. The 15-minute model um, went short, came just within ticks of its blue line. What does the blue line represent? Guys, this, when it generates a trade, it shows you the trade. It shows you the amount of position. Red is a stop, and blue is the intended profit target. This particular strategy scales out half the position. So it'll get out of half position to trail the balance. So why does it do that? Well, like, say, for example, yesterday, if you followed the video from yesterday, um, here's a or the trades from the last couple days, which is why I say it's an interesting market, because we started off with uh, sell signals on Wednesday. It got out of half position, trail stop, it stopped out on the balance. Went short again, got out of half the profit, and it gets out in the day. Took a short, got stopped out, took a long, got stopped out, went long, got out with profit, and then trail the stop, make more money on the trade. So that's the algo optimizer and today it did the same thing but this time it got out of both trades you can see short two now zero because it maxed out it's um it's, it did scale out so if uh it's designed to help protect profit when we get them now down below this is a very uh, powerful tool that we allow our trading community to see this is a proprietary volume tool this is in the vip pack you can actually buy this but it's through an annual or at least subscription through trade station it's not available on Thinker, so don't get mad at me. But what this does is the momentum rate of change of the volume in terms of percent change rather than looking at actual volume. It, I find this to be a much better efficient tool than on-balance volume, and I should know because I really helped pro to promote the use of on-balance volume through Charles Schwab's uh, portal, through uh, Thinkorswim, going on a uh, third date with uh, Thinkorswim back in 2008-9. Anyway, long and the short of it is, I think there's something that's dramatically changed in the landscape of volume analysis and i think it's between passive investment with etf trading as well as maybe options interfering or diverting volume levels from the actual market so this actually just gives me a better uh, shot at what the overall uh, volume trend is doing what made this a really nice short setup today is where's the volume as price makes a more high it diverged showed divergence so where's as trade progresses today and the market goes down in price um you would notice that the volume momentum, the histogram component is changing, and you can see the X factor here, and the volume started to change. So I'm glad that the system did what it was designed to do, get out and make a profit. Anyway, looking at the board here, why is this such an amazing trade room? Because it doesn't, you don't have to hear a moderator yell at you all day long. If you didn't hear him, uh, you can actually see the trades. And a lot of times, when you get into these trades, they give you a chance to get in and allow you to confirm the position. For example, Let's take a look at the five-minute model today, right? So the five-minute model, if you're a day trader, and you'd say, well, person, what do you think of the market today? And I'd say, well, you know, it's, uh, it's got good upside movement. We had some good performance. We got higher. The advanced decline uh, looks great, blah, blah, blah. But the volume is trending lower. What do you mean by that, person? Well, right here, we have volume trending up, and it generates a long. It went short, got clipped, and took a quick couple few ticks loss. It's long, make that money back, scales out, and gets out of the balance and then reverses right here. Well, why is it a good trade? Look at the volume trade. You got red bars. The histogram of the volume is negative. That confirms that sell signal. That's pretty cool stuff. This trade goes short. It nowhere near profit target. The volume is trending up. Look at the histogram. The histogram price is moving lower and the histogram is moving up. You can see that clearly. So this is where one could override the system, but 
I mean, then you're fidgeting around, but I think we can learn to approve trade signals. And yes, you can override anything you want. By the way, we just generate a new little short position here. So now you'd say, do I want to get in this trade? There's always this time frame that even this signal here, you had five minutes to figure out whether you want to get in the trade or not. Look at the signal here. You had 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50 minutes to figure out whether you wanted to get in the trade or not. So I think that overall, you'd say, listen, volume momentum is weakening here. This might be a good trade setup. And then you see where your risk factor is on the trade. So that's uh, how we define that. Does that show up on the board? Sure enough, look, five minutes, short two at 3,000 even. It was in a quarter on a two lap that's all 50 times two, $25. So that's where everything's transparent on this board, by the way. And that's the live trading room that you can see these trades in action. Yesterday we showed you what it did in uh, British Pound, and I explained in yesterday's video why we had the British Pound up uh, for uh, our, our viewers. Because it, it just didn't wake up and decide I want to trade the British Pound. We usually use the Euro currency, but why the Pound? Committed Traders Report revealed that there was a heavy net short position from small speculators, and we were near monthly pivot support, and we were different, uh, and, and the, the volume showing some bullish convergence. So with that said, it's giving us a, a clue we could see an upside reversal in the pound. So we wanted to build a strategy that would look for buy signals and as well as sell signals. And so that's how we did so well at British Pound this week. And we're able to call that reversal in the pound. What a gold. You know, I shared this with you uh, yesterday, and I just wanted to share with you the results. There's gold trades. Yesterday, this was uh, live in front of you. I know I, I left with the, um, I think in the videos where we had a position where we got out of half the position at the intended blue line and got out of the trailing stop function on the balance. Um, it market went down sideways to lower and uh, it clicked in another long position, which I personally thought it was going to go hit the stop of the day and paid her out. And this thing was a gift that kept on giving and made just one hell of an important run in the market. Did the volume support this move? The momentum of the volume was starting to uptick. You can clearly see the momentum of volume upticking. So it did support the move. And as it st the trend started to develop, so did the volume component. Look at that, that volume reading. So anyway, this is easy to learn, folks. Easy to learn. So let's double check. Now we come into today and we go, wow, maybe the market a little overbought. Who knows, right? But we do get a sell signal and you got, look, it's sell, it gives a sell signal here and you got five, you got 10 minutes to figure out what you want to join that signal. What direction was the volume? Down, just like the S&Ps. So for me, I find that when you have a confirmation, uh, you can get a chance whether you want to take that. You have in front of you what the profit potential is. And currently, you can see if it's short two and it got out of one, it's still short one. Let's review. And that should be uh, right here, and you'll see gold. Gold's still short one, and it was in that trade since 10.15 this morning in just the one lot right now. Just the one lot of gold that's been in since 10 o'clock is up $1,000. This, this gold strategy this week was just a killer. So um, that's what we got going on. You saw the S&Bs, uh, like I just pointed out, you had a few minutes to figure out and you probably you've got a better fill by the way and let's say you're not a big fan of being short the market which is really neat you can make an assessment of the trade and say you know what i'm not a big fan of this trade i, I don't want to be in either way at least you have control to review the indicators and everything is transparent on this board not sure how many trade rooms do this with this many market all at once why do i have a five minute and a 15 model mainly because some people like the 15 model for longer term trades in the day and other scalpers type traders want the five minute. We also have six minute, the daily SPSL, which the, the you know, most people would die to get a, uh, a performance graph like this. Currently we have a position on that spin back to profit, but the overall periodic, this is weekly performance. The performance graph here over the last few years is just ridiculous. I mean, uh, well, every trade's not a winner, and you know, I just like to be completely transparent with the profit factor on longs versus shorts. Um, it has an incredible ratio of profits. Not every trade's a winner, you can see that, but it has a very minimum drawdown effect. So this is a, a very robust strategy. Let me show you, this is a three-time leveraged uh, ETF on uh, the SPY, and you can clearly see it has had some just dynamic trades, not just going into last year, October, catching lows, the December, the reversal to the upside. This is a model that would be designed for somebody who's not a day trader, not really a swing trader, wants more kind of a position intermediate term trader. This is that model for you, okay? So um, that's why we keep this up in the room with the performance. And again, it's all transparent. So there's uh, what we've got going on. What do I see for the market this week uh, or for into next week? We had in our weekly newsletter, so with two trading rooms, like I mentioned, one's the algo room and the other is the stock trading room. 
And the stock trading room goes off positions that I write about in my weekly advisory service, which by the way, we can uh, kind of highlight and you can see um, it, it might be difficult in this uh, format right here, but that's a cumulative total for the amount of trades for this year, stock only, long, and this is short only. We had two shorts this year, both lost money. So um, anyway, this is the cumulative net performance. These are some of the option trades that we put on. Um, you know, so we are exactly what most people demand. Transparency. Don't cherry pick. Don't show me all your just the winners. Show me everything. And I put this out every single week, win, lose, or draw, where we get in, what the entry is, where our stops are every single week. It's a weekly publication. That's what we run in our uh, stock room. So basically, you can kind of see here, we were looking at long Philip Morris, which had an insane week. We were looking to add to that position. That's why it says 50%. So we have position in Philip Morris. We bought Tilray. Hess. We're looking to move into uh, Wells Fargo, which we have position on. Uh, we also look at Tiva, Occidental, Twitter, and Xilinx. So all of these are for this particular week that you see. No new shorts. We also do special updates from time to time, like this one showed. So this was in the week prior for the beginning of July. This was the beginning of the month. We were talking about getting into Delta Airlines when no one saw money flow coming into the airlines. But we did. We didn't see, not a lot of people talked about money flow coming into Philip Morris, Terraform Power, General Mills. So all of these are names for, again, people that are interested in longer term, 16 to 24 months. But we also put out our weekly thoughts and observations, sector seasonalities. We do stuff like looking at knob spreads and do analysis on the crack spread. So what does this mean? We're really digging deep into the overall health of the market to help us to adjust for positions. This is something we look at, which is the top stock indices. The S&P's, the Q's, the Russell, the Dines, and the NYSE, daily and weekly. I want to share with you what the volume trends are, what the advanced decline trends are, the new guys, and also, you see at the very bottom, the seasonal trend of the market. So you as a reader get full knowledge of what the, the market is from a technical perspective. And my uh, opinion is if you want to figure out where the market's going to go, you got to figure out what it's going to be. If you're not familiar with what we've been doing here at Person Planet for years, and you just think we've got person's pivots, obviously we have a lot more going on here than just person's pivots and indicators. So we have a transparent trade room that people can piggyback these trades. It shows the entry is on the charts. It doesn't get uh, fudged or hedged. And here it is live in front of you with real-time results. And as far as the stock trading room, we go over those particular trades and again, something else happens. As you noticed the other day, we talked about VNQ. Let me bring this into speed for you and then we'll wrap this up. VNQ, we talked about uh, being in those puts and there's VNQ and it is melting down nicely. Now, what's nice about VNQ, you'll notice this is our thinkers from page. This is the weekly chart and we're forming a weekly low close doji. That's a green line. I'll put this uh, in maximize this cell here. I put that line in the sand because I said, guys, we, wanted, we went with a put option on the 87 strike September or 86 strike September. Um, and what we were looking at is if the market confirms at the end of the week, add to the trade. So this looks like it's going to confirm with a weekly low close doji. And uh, if you notice here, one of my um, uh, favorite indicators that we created, the BMC. It's a relative strength tool. It shows graphically the four stages of market, whether it's underperforming, improving, outperforming, and weakening. This is VNQ on a weekly basis. The trade made new highs. The relative strength did not. It did not confirm that new high. It means it's under a divergent situation. Odds are this market is going to see a meltdown in the coming weeks, more likely back into the support zone, which I've got the green line down here. Sell a breakdown of the prior week's low, be in some put options, next target, 85, 86 uh, in, in VNU. By the way, that's very good if you're uh, uh, more of a bull. I want to see money flow come out of the defensive uh, non-cyclicals, like real estate investment trusts, like utilities, and want to see it get into aggressive growth. I want to see money come into the financials. And by the way, that's exactly what we got going on. Anyway, thank you for watching. Again, if you want to learn more about how to join our live trading community and see real results and follow this, come in for a free trial and you can see this. You don't have to hear my voice and mute me because you can see everything. But with that said, you can get a free trial of the weekly newsletter. You will get a free trial of our live trade room and you can piggyback the trades that you see in front of you. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend. And where do you find this? All at PersonsPlanet.com. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, then just go to PersonsPlanet.com and say, hey, I'd like to try a free trial for your live trading room. There's some websites that actually show people trades, but they're either simulated or they're not live in front of them and they send out signals and they charge money for this. Look at all the, the moves that we have going on here, whether it's pound, crude, gold, SPXL, VXX. We didn't even get into that in today's video, which by the way, you can see VXX still short. 
uh, from 2296 2268 This is based on $20,000 account. It's short 870 contracts. It's already up $243, so some good stuff there. Thank you for watching, and I know you're going to want to be one of our members here at Person's Planet because we've taken a long time to put what we wrote in that book, what you see right here, for you and for me to benefit to take money out of the market consistently. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend.